All right, simplify these so these ones aren't too bad. All we're going to do is we're going to split this up. Let me take the square root of the numerator and the denominator. So I got 121 over 169. And these are both perfect squares. The square root of 121 is 11. And the square root of 169 is 13. That's it. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could show that uh, 121 is the same as 11 times 11. And 169 is 13 times 13. So what we need is, for square roots, we need pairs of numbers. And right here, I've got a pair of 11s. And right here, I've got a pair of 13s. So if you wanted to show that work, you could. But I'm fine with just splitting it up like we did. Because that's really the principle we're going after.